Favorite place in Stockholm. I mean, I grew up here, so uh, whenever I've been away for a long time, I grew up in the intersection of Herbergsgatan and Götgatan, which I know that you know very well, but maybe not people that are uh, not from here, but it's like in the middle of Södermalm. Um, and um, yeah, just coming back to that neighborhood, uh, there's those particular streets that I grew up running up and down doing, you know, mischievous little, you know, inner city boy things. Okay, so I remember when I was a kid uh, in kindergarten, I would have been like four or five years old, and um, this is like a, and you were doing the yearbook thing, photo. Um, and I don't know why this came to mind, because it wasn't like a favorite garment of mine, but it was like, I was like, okay, so today we're taking photos, so I'm, I'm gonna be stylish. It was like a gray sweater, and then there was a t-shirt on top of the sweater. Uh, and the t-shirt I had on top of it was uh, a Hammarby, which is like the local football team here. And I remember feeling very cool. But the, the trend really didn't uh, uh, pick up from there, so <laughs> not much of a trend center, center at five years old, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, my dad loves to cook food, so we never got like the basic Swedish dishes. Like it was always like these like experimental, like oh whatever, like big French stews and stuff that have been cooking for hours which is great, but when you get used to it, like, you're like, I want the things that my friends have for dinner. And one is macaroni and uh, sausage, it's called falukorv. Um, yes, it's macaroni and falukorv and just ketchup. Um, and it's also a thing, like that sausage itself is the thing that, like, uh, that I uh, look forward to sometimes when, when I'm away. So if I haven't been away for a very long time, and it literally, it this, you, you'd make this meal in 10 minutes. Sort of a mac and cheese, our version of mac and cheese, really. <laughs> very, very classy stuff. When I was a kid, I would, um, um, I would perform. I, like, I would go in to my room, and I would get dressed, and then I would come out as a, as a different character. So like my family would have to call me by my character name. And I got really upset if, if they didn't call me by my character name. Um, there were two characters. Uh, one was Max, the tiger hunter, or dinosaur hunter, depending on the day. And he had a, um, a cowboy vest on, <laughs> and that was only Max. Uh, and the other one was Stefan. <laughs> and he had a cowboy dress on, like a dress, that uh, my, uh, my sister, my little sister got from someone that dad worked with. with it had like cowboy horses on it, and I, it was too big for her. She's a year and a half younger than me. And naturally that dress fitted the bigger brother because it was too big for her. And that became Stefan. Um, and I don't know if sure if these like performances or not, but they were like, I was very committed to be only car called with my character name. And they would have to you know, ask follow-up questions like, oh, where have you been? I haven't seen you in a while, you know. I was always like two years older than I actually was to say that I was three. I was like, how old are you? And I'm like, Five, you know, I'm five and, and stuff like that. So I guess, um, I guess um, maybe it's always been in me. Some characters are kind of dressed very close to what I'm, what I normally, you know, wear, which is really boring, fucking plain Swedish clothes, <laughs> like Swedish design, like basically what I look like right now. Um, but I wouldn't call that best dressed. I mean, I've I've done quite a lot of period things, which I think is fun. For this, for the show Clark, um, I definitely had the most outrageous wardrobe. I don't know how many outfits I have in it, but it's like close to a hundred. I'm not kidding you. I mean, I think it, you know, we probably had 20, 25, 30 looks per episode sometimes. So uh, there was a lot of fittings going into it. And it's, we're also going, you know, from the 60s all the way to the 80s. So in terms of like the most fun, I'm, I would probably say Clark. I don't like wearing clothes that my character has worn. Uh, like it feels weird to me. The character's clothes are, they're, they're the character's clothes, so it feels like I'm wearing that person's outfit somehow. Um, my daughter was basically born when we shot the first it movie, or the second it movie. And the costume uh, department made her a mini Pennywise suit that um, 
from the same actual material as the real suit in the movie um, that we forced her in for Halloween. <laughs> she did not like it. But I will always, like, I think that one is really cool because it's like, it's literally the same fabric as the original one, but made for a one year old. Tack. Nej, tack. <laughs>